Alrighty guys, I think I finally mastered the art of making these Japanese crystal candies. They're like the TikTok gems or something like that. Called Kohotaru or Kohotu, whatever how you pronounce it. I'll put the right way to spell it in the description. But it took me eight tries. Yes, eight tries. I've been using the wrong type of agar. This is what they look like. I put glitter on them. Of course, I tried doing the blue and orange thing, but the blue and orange kind of made green. But it came out really pretty. This is on day one. I made some peachish, orangish, yellow ones. This one looks like like this. Of course, I had to add, I had to add sparkles to it. Okay. It's on day one, so it's not time for me to flip it yet. But they are pretty transparent. I made the um, I made the simple syrup by scratch. I'm kind of just experimenting. I'll probably get better at making shapes for it right now. This is my attempt at an emerald. It's pretty clear. I tried some blue, some gold. My favorite pieces are actually these ones right here. Kind of the green, the blue. They're gonna have, they're actually, I got cut with a different type of knife, so I have to try cutting this with a different kind of knife. So it doesn't leave texture, but I think the texture actually works with this. My fingers are gl getting all glittery. Uh, my favorite pieces are that one, these little emerald looking <laughs> things that probably would take at least like a week and a half to dry. This is definitely going to need a moment to dry. This is going to be my first piece I try on camera. This is also day three. I'm afraid to touch these clusters I had made because they take a while. I'm afraid to fall through. But these pieces right here, these are so pretty. They're completely clear, and I've got the color right through it. If you guys don't know, blue and orange is definitely my favorite color. So finally, eight tries later, I finally got the recipe right. Now, I have to get my delivery on this edible glitter correct. So I'm ordering some special brushes that are designed for um, depositing glitter, edible glitter onto the candies, on confectionaries. I'm also investing in a um, special airbrush that is designed for edible crystals. So, I mean, edible um, glitters. So this is what it looks like. This light does not do it justice, but it's the best light I've got right now. Let's see if we can get it. It looks a little yellow in this room, but there it is. It's on day one of drying. Not bad for my eighth attempt in making these. And later down the road, I will eventually show you guys my recipe and how to make these for yourself. And my exact recipe for this uh, lemon ginger, I mean lime ginger uh, simple syrup I had made for this.